breaking news about Mike Pence, just suffered devastating tragedy in his family. There's absolutely nothing that's off-limits when it comes to liberals attacking the president and vice president. Personal life events are no exception and are in fact their favorite targets to tear either of these men and their families down. They see no shame in the game of getting ahead by making other people look and feel bad and this sudden death is their latest ploy. The Pence family tries to maintain their personal privacy as much as they can for a couple in their very public position. You can't blame them either since even the most honorable details of their relationship become a big point of criticism and used against them. We saw this when Mike Pence wasn't afraid to say that he and his wife Karen Pence have an agreement in their marriage to never dine alone with another woman, out of respect for his wife. This proved to be a good decision since there was no way he could be tied into the recent wave of sexual misconduct allegations that have swept Washington, D.C., and Hollywood. Also, not being liberal helped to zero, since that's a common denominator among depraved men. Since the desperate left can't slander Pence over that, they're going to pick a death to sink their claws into him. It's no secret that the vice president and his wife are a very family-loving couple. Sometimes, this means unconventional additions to their fold who become a part of their family, traditions, and memories they hold dear. That is the case for Pickle who passed away today. Pickle is very much a part of the Pence family and will be greatly missed despite being just a pet. The Washington Examiner explains. Secondly the Karen Pence said Thursday that one of their cats, Pickle, has died. We will all miss Pickle, our very chatty, sweet kitty of 16 years, Karen Pence tweeted. Vice President Mike Pence retweeted it from his official at VP Twitter account. The Pences are known as a pet family famously moving them all into the Naval Observatory official residence when Vice President Mike Pence took office. Pets are an important part of any family and having and caring for them in your home shows a level of compassion that liberals can learn from. Had it been the Obama's dog who died rather than a cat who lives in a notable conservative's home, then the outpouring of sadness from the left would have been all over the internet. Instead, liberals at the Examiner, seem to only report on this loss simply so they could try to make the claim that President Trump hates animals and people who have them in their home, particularly when they noted what Trump's alleged response was to when Pence moved his pets into the Naval Observatory office. According to the Washington Examiner, the move reportedly embarrassed President Trump, who thought it was low class. Of course, there's no proof of the president saying this. It was perhaps just another loony liberal making assumptions about his feelings on the matter using Trump not owning a pet as their misguided reason for assuming such a thing. This isn't the first loss of a family pet the Pences have suffered. The couple keep a lot of little friends around and unfortunately, it's been a rough year for them. Ario, another family cat, died in June at age 13. The Pences soon got a new dog and cat, named Harley and Hazel. Washington Examiner explained. The most famous Benz family pet, Rabbit and Instagram star Marlon Bundo, is the starring character in a forthcoming children's book, written and illustrated by Karen Pence and daughter Charlotte. The Western Journal has more on why losing Pickle was especially hard for the vice president and his sweet wife. While the loss of a pet can be hard on anyone, the Pences have long been described as a family with deep affection for animals. As CNN reported in January, just days before President Donald Trump's inauguration, the Pences brought two cats, Pickle and Oreo, and a bunny, Marlon Bundo, along with them on the flight to D.C. A snake did not make the trip but was instead left in the custody of the family's adult son, Michael, who lives in Mississippi. Also missing from the relocation was a dog, Maverick. The 13-year-old Beagle died shortly before the November election. With both cats now deceased, the only animal left from that move is the bunny, who has gone on to become the most prominent Ben's pet. Marlon Bundo is the subject of an Instagram account posting photos and status updates written from the rabbit's perspective. That account also offered a memorial to Pickles on Thursday. The bunny is the main character in a children's book, Marlon Bundo's Day in the Life of the Vice President, which was illustrated by Karen Pence. Anyone who has owned a pet or at least has a heart can see that this is a sad loss. To use this tragedy for any other reason is truly disturbing. Disturbing.